<clears throat> when I think about this year, the first thing that comes to mind is number eight, number 24, number two. You know, Cobes, GG, um, Cobes, you were an inspiration to me growing up. Uh, you were an inspiration to me once I got into the NFL and was a pro because I always wa watched how you did everything with grace, how you ever, always worked hard at everything. Um, you know, GG, you were an inspiration to so many girls. And Kobe, and you just, uh, you were a girl dad, you know, and I think about having kids, having family. You know, I wanted to wear this jersey to honor you today for the NFC West Championship. Um, and the shoes, the Grinch shoes. V, shout out to you for sending them. But, um, you know, your family means a lot to my family. Um, we love you all. And uh, for this game, we had to bring the mama mentality, the last drive. And just everything that's gone on, everything that's happened in 2020, you think about just COVID. Think about, uh, you know, losing your Cobes and that Pro Bowl and Gigi and, and then just how heavy that was on our hearts. Uh, you know, it was a difficult time, you know, and it's been difficult along the way. And just how many people have dealt with COVID, how many people have dealt with racial issues and everything that's gone on. And I just think about um, the challenges that 2020 has brought us all. And what I think is important is, is that we continue to love and we continue to believe. And, uh, you know, so, Kobe, I thank you for the Mamba mentality. I thank you for just uh, how you encourage me, you know, how you encourage others, uh, how you encourage young girls around to be the best athletes they could possibly be. And that's people you could be, that know, how you wrote books. And Gigi, I, you just inspired so many. Um, but you know, this last drive, this this game, NFC West Championship, to get to where we are as a team, just everybody sacrificing. Guys have, you know, family members who have gotten COVID, or people have gotten cancer, or this or that, or just not being able to see your family or loved ones. And you know, we're not used to not having anybody here in the stands, you know, nobody here around. And you know, your love for your teammates, your love for the game, everything comes down to, you know, you're by yourself in the gym working at, you know working here, but you're, you're here by yourself in the off season, you're putting all the hard work in and you know, it comes down to one drive, comes down to one play, one, somebody make a play here or there and that one shot, that one moment and just, uh, you know, life is so much bigger. This is what I really found out in 2020. Life is so much bigger than just this game. As much as I love this stadium, As much as I love playing in front of everybody that's 70,000 people, you know, millions of people watching, it comes down to our family. It comes down to our loved ones. It comes down to grace. It comes down to you know, how we treat each other and how we love one another. And the one thing that I've found out and really understood in 2020 is just that nothing's promised. Nothing's promised. And uh, the good thing is, and there is hope. Hope lies in oh God, it lies in our faith, it lies in, uh, it lies in a new day, you know, and you know, just great is his faithfulness. And I just, I'm grateful for just, uh, you know, everybody that's helped along the way, this process, all the challenges, all the overcoming, all the things that have happened. 2021, I'm praying for a better year. I'm praying that we all get close to one another, we love one another, and uh, yeah. You call Kobe on that TD to Hollister in the back corner? Yeah, that last, uh, that last drive, I, um, the, only, the only thing I was thinking was, I was thinking about you, Kobe, so I was thinking about the Mamba mentality, that last drive. And uh, that's why I wore the jersey, just to, to rock you, man, and just say Mamba, boom. So I had the touchdown and said, Mom. And, uh, yeah. You gotta be willing to take the shot. You gotta be willing to make the play. You can't fear it. You gotta look forward to it. How is it being out here now where generally it's pretty chaotic out here, but it's just still and quiet? Yeah, you know, it's always interesting coming out here because 
and there's nobody here, it's one of my favorite moments because the stillness. The stillness of everything is really, that's how our minds should be in the clutch moments. Throughout life, there's always these moments, there's chaotic moments, there's so many things going on, but to be able to remain still, to be out here and just know that I'm grateful to God that he's given me this opportunity to do what I get to do and just hopefully inspire some young kid to, to be able to do what I get to do one day. Hopefully I get to inspire my kids to dream, take risk and, and take a chance, you know, to take the shot, to make the play, to dream big, you know, so why not you?